Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 12th video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are learning the basics of JavaScript, that is the start. And from there, we are learning different concepts like, you know, for loops, while loop, if else, variables, operators, and we'll go like on functions, uh, array, how you can define object, class, and many more things. So totally this series will help you to clear your JavaScript fundamental knowledge. If you are a ServiceNow CSA administrator, okay, and you want to become a ServiceNow developer, uh, then this JavaScript course is for you because in ServiceNow development, we use the JavaScript. So that is the reason I've given the name ServiceNow and JavaScript because uh, the next series that I'm going to uh, start that is the ServiceNow development and also for the ServiceNow administrator or admin level videos are already there in my channel. So I want people who are watching my videos or my channel for ServiceNow so they can learn first the admin then learn the JavaScript and then learn the ServiceNow development. So that was the plan. But I'm also happy that this series is not going to only for ServiceNow people, but it's going to help all the people who wants to learn programming, who doesn't have a programming background, but wants to move in a programming. Okay, so let's not waste our time because today we are going to learn a very, very interesting topic. So let's go to our Visual Studio. So in the last class, you have seen that we have learned a very, very important concept, which is the switch statement, right? So we have learned if else also. Switch statement is the another conditional uh, way we can declare condition I've shown you and how you can, you know, use it in different cases and how it works. So it was a very important video, guys. If you missed it out, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen. So make sure you watch the full video to clear your understanding. Okay. Now in today's video, before I start the today's video, let me uh, make it as a comment for all the thing in the class seven. Okay, so today we are going to learn another conditional, uh, this time operator, not statement. So just to tell you a quick difference between the operator and statement. So we have learned about switch statement in the last class. And also before that, we have learned about if and else statement. So statement is something which does not return a value. On the other hand, operators are always an expression which returns a value for an example. So if I just quickly give you an example, so it's like three plus four. So it is using the plus operator. So it is an expression and we know that three plus four equal to seven. So it returns a value right now. If I write any if else statement, for an example, if I go on the top, I would be able to see some if else. So see here, let number. So if number, then console.log else some value. Now this if statement, the whole if statement. So this doesn't have a value. This is an expression console.log uh, the output. This is a string output we are printing. This is an expression, but the whole block here, if block, this is a statement. So expression means which returns a value. Console.log number is true. We know that it's going to return a value. But this if statement, as a statement, if I talk about, then it's not going to return anything. But today we are going to learn about another conditional, this time operator, which is the ternary operator. Okay. So let me quickly write it down ternary operator and you will see how is useful it is okay but this is not a replacement of if and else i'll tell you why it is not a replacement okay so let's understand about this conditional operator which is known as ternary operator right okay so let's do it so i'll declare a variable called pass marks okay and i'll give it as maybe 300 so suppose the uh, exam is having on 600 and the pass marks, pass marks is 300. So they have to score 50%. Okay. So now I'll try to give the example with uh, Pritam marks. Suppose Pritam has got 250, which is below pass marks. Now, very simple condition. I'm going to use the if and else. First, I'm going to show you how it works in if else. So if Pritam marks is greater than pass marks, then simply it would show a message saying that, hey, you are pass. And simple else statement I'll give, which you already know this thing, console.log, and you did not pass. Okay. Or maybe I'm going to write, hey, uh, you pass the exam, something like that. Did not, and again, same. Pass the 
B exam. Okay, very simple. So if I refresh it, you see you did not pass the exam because my marks is uh, 250. Okay, so this is one of the way we can do that. I, I know you, you are pretty much confident about that. Uh, now I will show you the using another operator which is the ternary operator. So I will just make it for the time being as a comment. Okay, so I will take this two thing, two variable. So total marks and the, the pass marks and the pritam marks. Now how I'm gonna calculate it. So now if so pritam marks greater than the pass marks. So that is our condition, right? Now if I'll write the if part. So there's a question mark I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna write console dot log and here i'll just try to give the same thing hey you did you pass the exam and let me maximize the screen okay you pass the exam and then i'll write a colon to write the else part console dot log and here i'm gonna say the same thing i'll just copy and paste that's it so I have reduced so there was one two three four five so there are five lines I had to write to you know make this condition available now here I can write it in a single line so first I define the condition and there this is the if part and this is the else part so before I explain you let me show you if that output works so again I'll refresh you see it is showing the same thing you did not pass the exam okay so that means it is working because the number is still 250 so just to show you if I say 310 and save it let me refresh it you pass the exam right now how it is working simply ternary operator means it has three part okay first part is the condition where you are mentioning the condition that check that if pritam marks is greater than pass marks which we write inside of the if statement and we know if that statement is correct this particular line works so here if this statement is correct then this if part executes so this is the second part which is the if part this is the condition part and this is the if part so if it is true it will show uh, hey you pass the exam then i have to write the else part this part okay so what i did is that this is a else sign you could say internally operator and this is the message i'm passing and in a single line i could solve it instead of writing if else so this is the power of ternary operator which is the conditional operator which is also known as conditional operator now there is also another benefit of using the ternary operator i was just telling that few minutes back which was the expression and the statement now ternary operator so operator always returns a value so if ternary is an operator if that means this whole thing works as an operator okay so now what we can do is that and you i'll show you how powerful it is so i'll just change the writing here so maybe i'll write pritam marks same thing is greater than pass marks if that true so then i'll just want to print pass something or you pass the exam so i'm not gonna write the console.log the exam so i'm not gonna print it in console this time and here I'm gonna write simple you did not pass the exam okay simply I'll put it one line done and we know that expression always returns a value so I can store the value by defining let uh, maybe result let result equal to and then the whole uh, condition operator I can store it and this time if I try to print it console.log and I'm gonna print this time result okay and you see uh, I'll just come to the output you pass the exam okay this time this work because the, the value is 310 of Pritam so and you pass the exam so now I can store the value of this whole operator inside of the result but i cannot store it in if i use the switch statement or if else statement so i cannot just write if a condition here like mentioning if uh, statement and here else statement or i cannot do that but i cannot 
but I can write this expression and I can store it in a variable and then I can use this variable anywhere in my code here I'm just printing but I can store it anywhere in the in my code okay so simply I can use it as a concatenation so uh, maybe I'll just show you quickly so console.log again in pro in typical programming you are not going to use console.log uh, at many times but uh, definitely I'm just trying to clear your concept so that's why I'm showing you so maybe I'm going to write like this so I'm going to use the uh, template literals so uh, maybe congratulations okay and then I'll simply add the value so the dollar and this and here I'm going to put the variable name which is the result that's it okay because result is storing whether it is pass or fail so i'm gonna show the output here again congratulations you passed the exam because it's already written here pass the exam so i don't need to write it anymore so the whole result of this operator it's storing in a variable again very simply expression always returns a value and this is whole line is the expression okay and that's why it is returning a value and i'm storing it the, in a variable and i'm using that variable in my code right but for a statement we cannot store a value okay this 300 number this 310 these are all like expression which is storing in the pass marks variable and then we are using the pass marks variable but for an example like a whole if statement like for an example this line this is a statement the whole if else is a statement if else statement that's why it is being said so this if is not doing anything it's not returning a value this string is returning based on the condition so the expression is returned but the statement cannot return that's why we can store this expression in a variable but we cannot store it like we can store like if else statement or switch statement in a variable so this is two advantage of using ternary operator one when you can declare based on a single condition you can see this is very very important here for so that's why i said this is not a replacement of if else because uh, in because when whenever there are multiple conditions and multiple uh, output maybe you need to print for a certain condition then if else statement is the best thing to use okay then you should not use ternary but for a quick solution if you want to find a quick solution based on some logic so then you can use the ternary operator it's very uh, very simple you can i mean very quickly you can write it down and also you can store the value it is very very important and you can use this you can use this variable simply simply anywhere again this is just an example but in real world uh, you would be able to use the power of this ternary operator so i hope this concept clear okay if you have any doubt ping me in the comment section and if you find it helpful hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families and don't forget to hit the subscribe button also we are doing the coding exercise so for javascript and this is only for the members so if you want to practice more with real-time example uh, then you can join my channel with a minimum very affordable price and you would get those exercise videos so all right see you in my next video guys bye bye take care